Good morning, Mendes. It's Thursday, November 21st. Here at Mendes, we are respectful, responsible, and ready. Let's start the show. Hi boys and girls, Mr. Johnson here in room 322. Time travel has finally arrived at Mendez. Starting on Tuesdays and Thursdays in December, we will be studying time travel as part of an exclusive program at Mendez for English language learners and students who've been recently reclassified. We'll be studying the great classic novel, The Time Machine by H.G. Wells. We'll be watching movies, we'll be studying theories of time travel, and we'll be reading all sorts of great books of the time travel. What we found with English language learners, sometimes you need a little easier book to start. We'll be reading easy versions of it, classic novel versions of it. We'll be looking at graphic novels. Hey, wait a sec, let's take a look at it. We'll be reading great illustrated classics versions of the time machine. We'll be looking at current chapter books, middle school versions of the books, We'll be looking at graphic novels, current graphic novels. We'll be looking at graphic novels from the 1960s and from the 1970s and see how our interpretation of this story has changed over the years. We'll be looking at the movie script to go along with watching the film and we'll read the original story as written by H.G. Wells himself. Is time travel possible? Not until you invent the time machine. Steve Jobs, one of the founders of Apple Computers, said, the best way to predict the future is to invent it. Join Mr. Johnson and other English language learners and reclassified students as we study the time machine. Perhaps you'll go down in history as the man or woman who invents the time machine and come back to visit us at Mendez. Looking forward to seeing you Tuesdays and Thursdays in room 322. I'm thankful for Miss Steel because she's a really nice language arts teacher. I'm thankful for the for the school with what they help us with and what they teach us, especially my PE teacher, because she's really nice and I like PE. I'm thankful for the teachers because they help us with what they help us with and what they teach us, and I'm thankful for Miss Steel because she's really nice and I like PE. I'm thankful for Mr. Torres, Mr. Diaz, and Mr. P because they're coaches in sports and they teach me a lot. I'm thankful for my family because they take care of me. I'm thankful for my family because they take care of me and they help me with everything. I'm thankful for having a family and a roof over my head. I'm thankful for my family and having food and going to school. I'm thankful for my family because they took care of me when I was small. I'm thankful, I'm thankful for this book because it gives us um, more higher education to learn and it gives us a better future. Do you know what blood cancer is? It is a disease that occurs in the, our blood. Our blood is made up of three types of cells. Red blood cells, white blood cells, and palate blood cells. Blood cancer crowds out the heavy blood cells so that we cannot do their jobs. Do you know what the treatments for cancer are called? Tune in tomorrow to see if you're correct. The first count will be tomorrow, so be sure to send your bills and coins to Ms. Garcia's room. The deadline for collection has been extended to December 2nd. Keep those donations coming, scholars. This is Sam. He's a kid just like us. He's always looking for adventure. 
He's really good at solving math problems and teaching his dog Charlie to do tricks. Well, kind of. The only thing that makes Sam any different than you and me is that he's a hero. Breath in, hold, and out. Except the bad guys Sam is up against aren't like the ones in movies. These bad guys are called cancer, and they're pretty scary. But Sam is super brave because he has parents, nurses, and doctors right by his side. Types of chemotherapy will present these options to you. Sam has a whole squad, and you might not know it, but you're on Sam's squad too. Because you can raise money to help kids like Sam get better. You can search every nook and cranny of the house. Do some extra chores to help out your family and neighbors. Or come up with your own ideas to raise money. You can even make your own page on the website with your parents so you can collect money from your family and friends. Then bring what you've raised to school and add it to your class box. All of that money goes to help doctors and scientists find a cure for cancer. And it'll teach families so they know what to expect when cancer comes knocking and let them know that they're not alone either. With your help, Sam's squad will get so big, cancer won't be messing with kids like Sam anymore. Because it means that cancer has to answer to kids like us. Thanks for viewing Mustangs. Remember, we are respectful, responsible, and ready. Have a fantastic Thursday, scholars. Goodbye.